Hey, what is up everyone and welcome to today's video and I want to talk about the Ion Sports speaker. Now, I thought this was actually a pretty cool speaker because I went to, okay, well, I originally went on YouTube, but I think I just looked up some cool speakers. And so the first one that actually popped up to mind was the Ion Togator Flash um, because, you know, that was like the lowest prices one I could find. But now that was like $89. Now, I went on the website on Best Buy and I checked it out, of course, it was the price, like 80 something, I'm pretty sure. Now, I went to Best Buy in person to actually buy the speaker, but it wasn't available in person uh, at the store pickup. So, I stumbled my eyes upon the Ion Sport speaker, which was $129. Um, plus tax, whatever state you live in, I guess it, you know, differs. Um, but I got this one in person, but I went on the website and I saw this discounted for like 90 something bucks. So I could have saved like 10 or $20, but it doesn't matter, you know, yeah. but I really do enjoy this speaker. Um, pretty good in size. Now I want to show you the features that it comes with it or just, you know, what it is. Now I do have the box, now I do have like the camera, but I have the camera stacked on top of the actual box to actually read off the things. So I'm gonna read it off real quick. Now, first thing it comes with is the 50 watt peak battery um, in here. Now it charges up pretty well. The, um, I was at like three bars of battery and it charged up, I think all the way to four, no, I was at like two or three, but it fully charged about I, I guess you could say two or three hours. It took just a little um, bit longer than like a normal size like hand speaker, of course. But uh, it charged up pretty quick though, I'm surprised. But it also comes with a rechargeable battery um, with the wire that actually comes with it or like the uh, charging wire. Now this is different than a um, usual ion speaker charger that has kind of like an outlet look with the three holes. Now this is only two. Um, so if you lost this or something, you want to buy one on Amazon or just somewhere close by, probably even at a Walmart. Um, but these are common like in store, so don't freak out about like pur purchasing one or like they're not rare or anything. They're like a normal wire, like everything else. Like there should be, but and it also comes with a microphone and it is USB charge port on the left side uh, above the master. Now the microphone is pretty good. I didn't bring it downstairs, just you know, it's a little bit of a mess, but it is a pretty good mic. You plug it into the mic uh, port right here over the rubber flap. Um, that comes with the mic port and with the uh, aux in port to charge, well not charge, I mean the plug in your phone to play music if you don't have a Bluetooth uh, feature with that. But for the charging now, the USB charging to like charge up my phone, now there is just like two cons I want to point out for this. And it's um, one that it does not have the base adjuster. I kind of wish it had a base adjuster because um, for some like crazy subwoofer fans, you want to be kind of careful of like, you know, uh, using your subwoofer and like not trying to like pump it uh, too loudly because say if I want to play a song kind of a little bit louder, but I don't want to, you know, damage or like rough up the subwoofer. That's kind of why I wanted to do that because I have an X-Rocker chair that has that feature. Um, but anything goes for 129 bucks, so yeah. But um, the other con, it's not really too big. Like I'm kind of fine with this. If if you're that really like secure, like crazy person about like charging multiple devices, you might not be willing to buy this for that, I guess, but it's a small feature. It only does come with one USB port, but my idea of thinking later on is like, I have a USB port, I can charge a rechargeable battery, like a portable rechargeable battery with this. So it's like, you can't be mad at that because this charges up your phone like 19% to like 30 in less than like, you could say 20 minutes or even 15. So if 
This can charge up pretty quick. It can charge up your chargeable portable battery that fits inside your pocket. And I wouldn't be mad about that, you know? I wouldn't. I would but let's turn on the uh, speaker now. Uh, yeah, I don't Bluetooth with my GoPro camera, so. Now you do have to hold on to this um, for like three seconds until the LED indicator pops up. Now it does show you four full bars. Um, I'm pretty sure once I get in the box, I, it showed four batteries for me, but I'm currently at three. It like notches down when it gets there using it. But um, it lasts it lasts pretty long because like I said, it's a 50 watt uh, peak battery speaker. So it's more than fine for lasting like a party. I'm pretty sure they said, yeah, like 50 hours. Um, so yeah, like I, I'm not that person that will play that 50 hours unless it's like, I, I don't know, I, I really don't know. But you got your mic adjuster to uh, change your mic volume but you have to change your master volume with it too um, because you know, you have to, I don't know, yeah. And you have your radio, now you do have FM, AM, and then just, you know, the no radio station once you play it with the three buttons. Now, the stations, I guess for me, it's, um, or I guess it's just built in, but my radio stations is, I think, about 85 or 82 all the way to 107.9, so it does have a fair amount of decent radio stations. Now, um, it's like a car radio station built in, so like, you gotta move it to like actually get a good signal. Now, the thing that was kind of weird about um, the thing I saw with the radio station, now, one of the radio stations I just didn't get a good signal because it's kind of buzzing. Now, I, I just had the idea when I moved it and so I put my hand on there and I had a clear signal so it you can use a conductor to actually get a better signal my idea was a metal cup and it actually works so if you have like a Yeti cup or something you can put that on there and it actually kind of works so I'm surprised it did but I'm like okay all right and the volume like now you got to be careful with the uh, volume notches so if you have a kid with you and they want to mess around with these um just try to make sure to like keep an eye on them because uh it's a speaker that gets loud very quickly if they move the notch all the way up to the red and you don't want to move up all the way to the red unless your uh phone volume's like halfway um so yeah but let's turn on the uh radio to fm now i'm on the classical like station so okay i don't have a good signal over here Playing Lexington's hottest music, Hot 102.5. Yeah, I, I really don't have a good signal in this area at my house. Not your weekend with me. My name is Lauren, filling in for Mandy for the next several days. She enjoys a little vacation time. Oh, does she? Hopefully you've yeah. got some of that this summer. Oh. Here's Bethel Music. Oh, it thanks. Is well. Sounds like a nice lady, you know? So yeah, um, so you do want to move this around. Now, it, of course, it does have a built-in antenna, so you can't really... That's kind of one of the other pros, um, well, a pro that I like about it is that it has a built-in antenna, just hit, hit it out. Um, then it just has the LED screen that is just more than fine, so yeah. But then you have your AM. Now this is like old school station, so it's kind of buzzed a little bit. So you can't really fix that. Cleansman's the right to write. Cleansman's the right. So what you're saying is that Cleansman's the reason, right? It was all his fault. So yeah. And then once you press it like three times, if you don't, if you just see a blank screen with a dot in the corner, it just means it's off. So yeah. Then you have your minus and plus to switch the tracks like I just did. Or if you're on your phone, you can switch uh, like the stations or like uh, your music for it. And then you have your pause and play or presets for the radio. And then you have your Bluetooth button. So it's like if you don't want to disconnect from your phone and it's getting too loud and your ears are bleeding from that Despacito too, uh, you can press that button to turn it off and then you're A-OK. -okay. But I um, do want to get a song just to test it. Now I do have my phone volume all the way up. Um, 
And it's pretty decently loud and hooked up uh, to the speaker, so. Now, I am getting a bass test uh, song. Uh, now, you want to be careful with these if you want to test it just because of this. Now, I'm only turning this, I think about like a quarter, so like the, the, uh, uh, volume notch is like right here, not even halfway. So, and of course, uh, again, this is all the way up. So let's play this and see how it goes. Turning it up just a little notch. And that wasn't even halfway. So it does pretty well. Um, now the only caution you want to have for the speaker is that um, once you go outdoors, you don't want to turn up the notch that like quick or anything. You want to turn it slowly just to see how loud it can get or where it's like at a good level. Um, so yeah, you just want to be careful with that. But thank you guys for watching. And I will leave link, uh, like the, the link description for where you can get this at uh, for the cheap price if you want to order it online. So yeah, but uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Does that hat take 10 gallons? <laughs> 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 <laughs>